दिस इज शीला रत्न बनसोडे फ्रॉम वॉलचंद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टॉपिक सेक्शंस ऑफ सॉलिड्स एंड इन दैट वील बी लुकिंग इन टू पर्टिकुलरली कोन वील मूव फर्दर विद द लर्निंग आउटकम्स स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ द सेक्शनल व्यू ऑफ कोन नाउ एट दिस मोमेंट आई सजेस्ट यूर टू पॉज द वीडियो एंड रिकॉल हाउ अ कोन लुक्स or what is the structure of coal moving further with an example we have a cone its base is 65 mm diameter and axis 70 mm it is stands vertically with its base on hp the section plane is perpendicular to vp and parallel to one of the end generators of the cone and passes at a distance of 20 mm from it we have to draw the sectional plan and the true shape of the section now here we have a cone whose base diameter is 65 mm axis height is 70 mm it it is mentioned that it stands vertically with its axis or its base on hp so a cone is kept straight its axis is vertical and it is resting on its base in hp then we have a section plane which cuts the cone the section plane is perpendicular to vertical plane and is parallel to one of its generator end generator of the cone as we know there are no specific edges for cone because it is a solid of because it is solid of revolution hence no edges we have generators so it is parallel to one of the end generator and it is 20 mm away from that it is parallel and 20 mm away from the end generators the cutting plane let us move further this is our xy line what we draw we'll start with the top view as we have the base diameter as 65 mm we divide the circle into equal parts it can be 8 or 12 we name each part as 1 2 8 i have divided the circle into 8 parts further i project all these points into front view i project all these points into front view i complete the front view and extend the generators so axis height you can see is 70 mm and base diameter as 65 mm so this is your first condition as per the question that a cone stands or stands vertical with its base on hp moving further we name the points and then we have a section plane here you can see this is an end generator and this is an end generator here specific end generator has not been mentioned so the cutting plane can be taken parallel to any of the end generators in this case i have taken it to this o21 this end generator i have taken it parallel and 20 mm from it this is my cutting plane been represented by a red line or red section plane now moving further we mark the points where the cutting plane cuts the generators as we don't have edges in cone so we consider generators the first point we get it at the base as it is circular so we have two points point 1 and 2 on this generator we have 3 and 4 back and front this we have 5 and 6 and at this single point we have on this generator that is point 7 wherever it cuts the generators we have marked those points now we project all the points in top view we project all the points in top view like the point 1 and 2 is on the base we project it 
point five and six point seven now only the point three and four are remaining for that we project the point three and four on one of the generator as you can see on screen we project it on one of the generators as this cannot be plotted in top view so we need to do the construction we project it in one of the generators either this or this then we project it vertically downwards we project it vertically downwards that is we have projected it on O5 so in top view also we have projected it on O5 now we rotate these points so this is the point 3 4 after projection we rotate it back to its original generator that is O3 and O7 it is on O3 and O7 so we have rotated those points back to its original generators so these are the new points this is the section we join the points p1 p2 p4 p5 p7 p6 and p3 p6 is on generator 4 6 so we have obtained p6 and p5 on generator 4 and 6 7 on 5 and point 1 and 2 on the base so this is your sectional view of the code this part has been removed this is the remaining portion that we have darkened now to draw the true shape in some videos we have seen that to draw the true shape we take a plane parallel to the cutting plane here we have seen we will see a different method where we draw a section plane parallel to xy itself we mark the points p1 p2 p3 p4 and p7 on this new line which is parallel to xy line and then we project each and every point we project p1 from this line and p1 from the top view p2 similar way we project all the points p3 p4 p5 p6 and p7 we join these points this is the true shape of the section this is the true shape of the section when it is cut when the cone is cut by the given condition let us consider another example here we have a cone whose base is 60 mm diameter and axis 85 it is lying on one of its generators in HP with the axis parallel to VP it is cut by a section plane inclined at an angle of 35 degrees to HP and perpendicular to VP it passes at a distance of 30 mm above the base along the axis as so that the apex is retained we have to retain the apex and then draw the section here we have a cylinder cone base diameter 60 axis height 85 it is resting on one of its generator totally lying on one of its generators on HP and the axis is parallel to VP then we have a cutting plane inclined at an angle of 35 degrees to HP and perpendicular to VP now as inclined to HP seen in front view perpendicular to VP it is seen as a line view in the front view and it passes at a distance of 30 mm above the base from the base we have to mark a point at 30 mm at an angle of 45 deg 35 degrees we draw a line let us move for the solution we start with the top view we have the base diameter as 60 mm we divide the circle into equal parts here I have divided into 8 you can take as 8 or 12 we complete the top view and then the front view we draw the generators then we go for the next step it is said that it is lying on one of its generators as mentioned in the previous example these are the end generators and it is totally lying on the end generator so this is the second condition for this we name the parts and then completes its 
top view the new top view or the second top view for this we project the points from front view and previous top view and complete the object that is the cone when it is resting on one of its generators we consider the cutting plane it is 30 mm from the base inclined at 35 degrees to hp and perpendicular to vp so wherever this section plane cuts the generators we mark those points we project each and every point in the top view in this way and join the points together like we have point p5 on o5 we project it on o5 p1 p2 p3 p4 all the points on the respective generators and join all the points so this is the sectional view we dark the remaining points thank you